welcome to World Sports Special, the sporting spectacular that satellites the globe to bring you the excitement, the superstars, the atmosphere and the most dramatic action from right around the world of sport. Here on World Sports Special we bring you the very top of the racing tree. We're here in the heart of Paris at Longchamp Racecourse to see Europe's premier event, the Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe at Longchamp, a mile and a half, 21 runners from England and France, and the big question, can England star Philly Salserville complete an unbeaten season with triumph in this, the richest, most important race of them all? Traditionally, before the arc, they run the Prix de l'Abbaye, a five furlong sprint, which included the dazzling Dejour, certainly the fastest horse in Europe, and arguably the quickest for many, many years. But Dejour is absolutely blazing. They race for the first quarter mile. He has it. Stato blessed in the yellow cap shows second. Touch of white, yellow colours is wide and boozy. Then behind these Lugana Beach and Pharaoh's Delight. But it's Dejour now. Power's clear. They've come halfway. And it's Dejour. He's pulled right away from these. He's clear by three. It's a race for the place. They've got two furlongs left to go. It's Dejour by four, by five. And two in second place. Stato blessed and then Lugana Beach. Then Pharaoh's Delight and Touch of White. And Booze is the back marker. No birthday present for... Uh, Jack Berry, and it's Deja all the way. He's going to win this very tidily indeed. He's starting to just tie up a little bit, and Lugana Beach has come out of the pack to take second place at the line. Deja wins it, pulling up. Beauty and high fashion have always been essential parts of Arc de Triomphe Day, but back in 42, the outlook was grey at Longchamp. No Germans ever won the Arc, but that year they looked like winning everything. Growing fast in value and prestige, the arc produced by common consent its greatest winner, Seabird, slamming Reliance and Diatome. Vincent O'Brien had been bitterly disappointed by Nijinsky's defeat in 1970, but seven years later, they came back with Allenge. Beaten in the St. Ledger, he won the arc in style. And with only one race in the meanwhile, came back 12 months later to win it again. This time, he led very nearly all the way. No story of the Arc de Triomphe, or indeed of the great Parisian race course on which it's run, would be complete without a mention of the great Yves Saint-Martin, King of Longchamp. Widely acknowledged as leader of his profession for years, he won France's greatest race four times, his fourth and last triumph coming in 1984 on Sagasse. Michael Canan on the winner's rostrum last year. Who will join him today on the Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe Roll of Honour? The favourite from England was Salsabil, the triple classic winner and the fastest filly in Europe. But she was up against St. Ledger winner Snurge and Europe's leading middle distance colt, Belmez. As they start the second last turn, they've got just over half a mile to go, and it's Abiad and Albada, the race yet to play. Belmez and Salmarez and behind these, Sikiston, and then Adaristan and Salsa Bills tucked in behind a wall of horses. Legal case is wide, Ilaniski is wide, and Desire looks for room. In the groove is going to be forced wide in the home turn. Willie Carson boxed in, looking for room there, and this is going to be a rough race. They fell out into the straight. Has Willie on Salsa Bill found the room and found the pace as Belmez goes for home, a quarter of a mile left to run, but Salmarez runs the rails and that kicks clear and Adaristan is uh, in mid deflation also coming with a run is Snurge and on the wide outside in the wings but Salmaris has the call and Salmaris and in the wings and Antisar and also coming there is Impervier Blur in the blue jacket but Salmaris next to the rails Impervier Blur and Snurge these are the leading three as they dash up to the line and it's going to be Salmaris who holds on from Impervier Blur Salmaris beats Impervier Blur Snurge a brave race for England in third so the hero of France is unfancied Salmarez, and he adds his name to that exclusive list of Arc de Triomphe winners. Coming up, a ballroom on ice in the Skate Electric Finals.